Hey guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in my previous video, when we were looking at buying your first pair of fins, uh, I did touch upon the fin strap. So the uh, the heel strap is different on all sorts of different fins. Um, and in this video, we're very much just gonna focus on the heel strap, the pros and cons of different ones, and which one is best. Okay, so to start off with, we have the traditional ratchet style um, sort of rubber heel strap. So this is a very simple, this is very much like the, um, the strap on your mind. Mask. Uh, you have a little one-way ratchet strap that you can pull uh, on either side and that tightens that heel strap. Um, they're very cheap, they, uh, they do the job, but to be brutally honest, they are a little bit awkward. Uh, especially when you're fully kitted up, if you're on the boat and, uh, and there's a certain sort of amount of surge or sort of waves, uh, it can be quite hard to, um, to get to them. You've got to adjust both sides on both feet. Um, it's a long way down and um, yeah, it can be a little bit awkward. They do the job. Uh, another downside to them is that as you descend, the, uh, the neoprene in your wetsuit boots is going to compress. So that means that you need to tighten the strap again. So um, not a huge fan. They do have their benefits because they're very easy to replace. Um, once you've adjusted them to your uh, exact size, you can just undo that little pinch clip and, uh, and then do it back up again. But a lot of the time, you do need it to be that little bit tighter. Um, so it's always worth lengthening it off all the way and then going back through the whole procedure of tightening it back up again when you're getting ready to go in. So uh, with these types of uh, heel strap, typically if I get a pair of fins and it's got these on it, to be brutally honest, I take these off, uh, keep them as a spare just in case, uh, and then fit some kind of bungee or, uh, or spring heel strap. Uh, so looking at bungee heel straps, so bungee heel straps um, started a few years ago, uh, popping up on the scene. These are a great way of automatically and very quickly and easily um, sort of getting your foot uh, into your, uh, your foot pocket. So um, you don't need to adjust any kind of straps. You just grab hold of the thumb loop, pull it over the back of your heel, and then that automatically creates tension on the, uh, on the back of your heel, holding your foot into the fin. So some of them, they do have a little bit of adjustments, uh, but others don't. Um, so just kind of shop around. Um, these ones are very quick and easy to, uh, to remove. All you have to do is just push that down uh, just to remove it and then you can replace it. So these bungees, these are made out of um, bungees from spear guns. So these are very, very tough. Uh, they're good sort of chunky um, bungees, but um, keep them clean, keep them out of the sun and, uh, and they'll last a long, long time. Okay, from that, they then um, sort of tweaked that idea. So Tusa have come up with this universal fin strap. Similar concept, you've got a single piece of bungee, uh, except this is, a, um, is dedicated for fin straps. Um, it has a few little features on it. The first one is in this loop itself, you'll notice that uh, you've got two uh, sort of crenellated uh, sections and then a very thin section in the middle. So when that's actually on your heel, that actually twists and actually grips onto the back of your heel. So that's a nice feature to stop it from sort of slipping down. It also has some adjustment in it. So uh, apart from the, uh, the hinging that you have in this section, you can adjust the length of this bungee really really quickly and really easily even on the go um, so um, even though you have sort of one fin strap it can fit lots of different people you can have about six different lengths um, on this uh, on this heel strap whereas the other ones the traditional bungee they come in a certain length and then you just have to pick and choose the length that's right for you um, this is just universal you can just pick and choose so there's one size fits all and then finally, we have spring heel straps. So spring heel straps are my personal favorites, uh, just because they're, they work in very much the same way as the bungee heel straps. You have a large metal spring, down through the, uh, the core, there's usually a cord, uh, a piece of string just as a emergency backup. But um, because it's metal, it's a metal spring, you, uh, you still get that same tension, but it's much stronger. So even if you leave it out in the sun, um, this isn't going to sort of slowly degrade over time. Um, the metal is that much stronger. Uh, some of them as well, like on the, uh, the Hollis F2s uh, and F1s, you do have a bit of uh, adjustment in the, uh, the length of that spring heel strap. You can adjust it by putting it on a different lug, um, but typically I just tend to have it on the standard length for the, uh, the size of the fin. Uh, 
Uh, so all in all, um, I tend to go for spring heel straps. Uh, bungees are great. Um, and if you've got the traditional ratchet straps, I tend to upgrade them uh, just because it's so much easier just to use a single finger just to pull your heel strap on. Um, I tend to go with bungee or spring. Okay, but now there is another option for you. So um, this is FinClip. FinClip is relatively new to the market. Um, and this is basically combining a bungee heel strap with a, uh, a sort of a snowboarding binding. Um, so instead of having to bend over and um, sort of adjust that heel strap, this you can do it uh, all from sort of standing still. So you have a hinged heel section. Um, so this goes back and then you put your foot into the foot pocket and then when you push down on the back of the heel, that pushes that up and that holds your foot in position. So you've got the bungee heel strap, so that always stays uh, sort of in position. That's always applying tension to the back of your heel, keeping your foot in the, uh, in the foot pocket. You do have adjustment like that universal fin strap. You can tighten and loosen this, uh, this bungee heel if you need to. And then to get out again, uh, you can either use your hand just to push that down, or uh, you can sort of use your second foot to uh, sort of push that out of the way and then get your foot out. Um, so a very clever uh, sort of invention, just makes um, donning and doffing your fins that much easier. Um, and, uh, and because it's that uh, sort of bungee heel strap, it's automatically adjusting to any kind of compression um, and lots of adjustment for, uh, for different types of fins and different types of, uh, of, uh, of wetsuit boots. Okay, so that was a quick look at the different types of heel straps that you can get on fins. But let us know in the comments which your favorite is and why. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.